Daniel Lafar push feel. Where'd that go? Straight, then two yards draw left. Oh, nice. Did you try and add some rotation, or is that just, just purely the push? Purely just trying to push through it. I guess I forced the rotation out of it. Yeah, and did, well, it, it encouraged other things to happen on the downswing, which is what we're after. Good, so Daniel tends to hang back, his hands flip, and then his arms stop rotating. So the big thing we're working on here is really trying to get his hands pushing forward towards target. Okay, put that, put that ball over near the bucket. In an effort to do this, he tends to come over a little bit and get that ball on the inside, hit some hosels. Okay, I'm just recording this for you. I'm going to send it to you as soon as we're done so you can see it. The, the feeling, the push feel you have and what you see on the video here, you're going to see it's not, it doesn't look exaggerated at all. Straight? Draw, I mean, fade, fade. 15 yard fade. Good, all right, let's hit a draw now. Okay, so aim at that five yards right. So aiming five yards right and really rotate. The focus, the main focus is rotating these arms through impact. Okay. Yeah, I can, I can hear the sound. Nice pose to the camera though. I'm not, I'm not going to make this public viewing, so don't worry. It's ugly, but I mean, clearly something's going on. It's... Okay, how close are you to that bucket? I want you to hit the... I want it to be more of an imposing force. I want you to miss the bucket. Okay, rotate the arms, miss the bucket. That's all we've got to do. Two things. Rotate the arms, miss the bucket. Where'd that go? Full draw, but it's really... More of a full straight. Okay, so how was your how was your alignment then? Was your alignment where it needed to be or was it a bit too square on? I think it was a little bit right, but not far enough. Just like a real draw. Yeah. That's it. So here's... Yeah, so you tend, to, you tend to aim a little bit open. Is so. Uh, no, that's left of the spool, but you tend to do that with every shot. Okay, aim for the right. So right now, it looks like you just, just shut off to that. Okay, go ahead and... Rotate the arms. There you go. That was really, really good. Awesome. And it's not a big draw. Nope. But your arms through impact then felt like they were hitting a draw, didn't they? Yeah. That's exactly what we're after. We need to we need to increase the rate of rotation. We need to increase the amount of force your arms have rotating through the impact zone, but not hitting a draw. We don't want them to hit a draw. The reason why we're after this is we're trying to create stability. See, if, you're, if your hands are in there, okay, if I put a hammer in your hands right now and said, okay, I want you to hammer a nail in to the ground, into the piece of wood, a piece of wood here, are your hands soft and floppy? How are you going to go? I, I, I'll tell you what, I'm not, I'm not going to hold that nail ready for you with your hands soft and floppy. Your hands are going to be firm, they're going to be controlling what's going on. They're not going to be soft and floppy. Okay, now the reason why I'm making this conversation is essentially your hands through impact with what you've done over time, what you've created with your impact zone movements is this massive breakdown with your wrists. Essentially, they're, they're soft and floppy. Do you follow me? Down at the top? Uh, no, the top of your back's pretty good. 